Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the Boston Consulting Group BCG matrix. When do we use this BCG matrix? We use it when we are managing, when the company is managing a large portfolio of product. What does that mean? Oftentimes, companies don't own one product. They run many products. Think of Google. Google, they have Google search. They have Google ads. They have YouTube. There's a good chance you could be watching this on YouTube. They have Android. They have Google Drive. They have Google Cloud platforms. They have many products. So Google wants to know how to allocate resources to various products because not all products are the same. Why do we need to do this? We need to do this to determine which product drive profitability. Why? Because we want to focus on these products that drive profitability. Which one needs investment? Obviously, if it's driving profitability, we may want to increase investments and vice versa. And which are straining resources that, that's holding the business down, that's not leading to growth. So which of these businesses is not doing a good job? Therefore, what we do is we cut them out. Could you think of a Google product that really was cut out, that it was created, then nobody used, therefore Google closed. Do you know the name of that product? And that product is called Google Plus. They started it in 2011 and they got rid of it in 2019. And we'll talk about other similar cases. But this is why we need to know which product is doing a good job and which product is not. And this Boston Consulting Group is an effective tool that's going to help us make decision. Now, this tool has guided many successful businesses in making strategic decision about their product line. And there's four quadrant of the BCG matrix. And each quadrant fall into one of the four quadrant. What are they? We could have the star quadrant. We could have the cash cows. We could have the dogs. And we could have the question mark. Now, obviously, what we need to do is we need to understand each one of these quadrant and how do they fit into the strategic business plan of that particular company. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Hello, everyone. Are you struggling with your CMA exam preparation? Do you feel that your review course is moving too fast too brief or not covering topics in depth? Well, if that's the case, at Farhat Lectures, we can help you. We build your confidence through in-depth explanation, not memorization or reading the slides. What we will do is we provide baby steps approach to break down complex topics so you can truly learn, understand the material. How do we do so? We offer video lectures, we offer practice MCQs, we offer true-false questions, we offer exercises, we offer the notes. Understanding the material is the first step in passing the exam. Once you understand the material, you have gained the confidence to pass, and you can pass with Farhat Lectures. What can you do now? Start your free trial. You have a two-day free trial. Take a look at it. Give us a chance. Your risk is zero. You like it, you keep it. You don't like, you cancel. Give us a chance, we can help you pass the CMA exam. Now, a little bit of a background before we start. The BCG, the BCG uh, matrix, also known as the growth share matrix, in case you saw this term, it was developed by a person named Bruce Henderson. It, he was the founder of the BCG groups in the 70s. As I mentioned, the company helps assess which product are worth investing in, which one should be maintained and which one should be gone, get rid of. So based on a portfolio, based on a portfolio theory, product portfolio theory, it's built on the assumption that different products require different strategies for cash flows and growth. So simply put, you have a portfolio of product, several product. So you need to know where does your product falls? Is it under stars, cows, dogs, question marks? And based on that, you will make investment decisions first thing let's make sure we know how to read the pro how, we know how to read this matrix we have the y-axis on the y-axis we have the business growth rate the growth rate of the business and we have a low growth rate and a high growth rate 
on the x-axis, we have the relative market share. Again, we have a high relative market share and low relative market share. High means you control a larger portion of the market. So each quadrant imply a different strategic approach and companies should continuously update the matrix as market condition change because a company could go from question to star or from question mark to dogs, but we don't know what they are yet. That's what we need to discuss. So this is continuously updated so the company know what they need to do. We're going to start by looking at the stars. This quadrant here. So let's take a look at this quadrant. This quadrant is when it comes to business growth rate, it's high. It's high growth rate. And when it comes to relative market share, it's high as well. What do you think this star is? It's a good thing. They control a large market share and the business is the business growth is growing. There's a lot of growth in this market and they control a large market of it. That's a great. When the market is large and growing, it means you can make a profit. So high market share and a high growth market. Excellent. That's what you want. So what type of strategies you would need to do here? Well, here you, you have to continue continuously invest to maintain or increase your competitive position in this market. So if a company has a product in this quadrant, considered a star. It's a large market and a high market share. Keep investing. While they are often cash incentives, they can become the company's future cash cow if nurtured properly. Now, we are investing in them. So here you need to invest to keep a competitive edge. Eventually, eventually what you're hoping is it goes from here to here because eventually the business growth can't go forever. So the business growth, it will be high to a point. It cannot go forever. Eventually, you're going to see as the business growth slows down, you'll be in the cow section. But let's let's look at an example first. Think of Amazon Web Services, AWS. It's a star for Amazon. Why? Because now there's a lot of demand for web services. So the business growth rate is high and Amazon control a large market. So the demand for cloud computing services continue to grow and AWS has a significant market. So for Amazon, AWS, or for Microsoft, we're going to see later Azure, which is the cloud computing services, as a star for them. Why? Because it meets two conditions, not two conditions, two criteria. One is business growth is high and they control a large market share. So now Amazon is required to continue investing to capture more of the market as the market is keeps on growing. And it cannot keep on growing forever. Who knows for how long it's going to grow? Then once it doesn't grow, you uh, you hope that it goes from a business growth low, but they still control the market to the cow. But we'll talk about this. The cow is the cash cows. Let's talk about the cash cows. So we know what the stars are. The cash cows is low business growth rate. So the growth is not very large, but the company control a high market share. The company control a high market share. So High market share, low growth market. What do you need to do in this strategy? In this strategy, you need you need the hold strategy. Hold means keep your relative market share high. You want to hold to your position. You cannot increase the business growth. If the demand slows down, well, you cannot grow anymore, but at least keep your position, keep your market share. So cash cows are profitable and generate steady cash flow with minimal reinvestment needs. Here, you would invest less because there's no growth in the business. Why would you invest if there is no growth? The aim here, the goal is to hold your position, your market share position, this position here, your market share high with minimal additional investment. So the profit from the cash cow are often redirected to stars or question marks. So what happens is any profit you generate from here, you will invest either in stars or you invest in question marks, which we don't know what the question marks are. We'll see that in a moment. What could be an example of cash cows? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola flagship product, the Coca-Cola Classic, is a cash cow. Well, the Coca-Cola market, the soda market, is not growing at a high rate. People, you know, everyone that's that wants to buy Coca-Cola or soda beverages, they already did. Now, Coca-Cola controls a large market. So what do we need to do? They need to maintain the relative large market. The soda market isn't growing rapidly. It's not growing at 10, 15, 20% like the web services or the cloud. But whatever we have, it's a large market. As long as we can maintain 
a relatively large market share were happy with that. Therefore, we use a whole strategy. So Coca-Cola dominate and the product reliably generate revenues. So profit from Coca-Cola supports the company's marketing and product diversification. It's cash cows. It's bringing you the cash with minimal reinvestment. Question marks. Basically, this is where all companies starts. They start here. What is here? When you start the business, the reason you start the business is there's a growth in the industry. There's a high growth. And but when you start, you control a small share of the market when you're starting. So your question mark. Question mark means what? We don't know what's going to happen. One of two things could happen. The question mark could go to stars or the question mark could go to dogs. Obviously, you know what? Dogs are no good here, right? <laughs> because you want to be stars. So here you have to utilize what's called a building strategy because you want to build your business. How do you build your business? You reinvest. You you want to turn the question mark product into stars. Question marks can either become stars with the right investment or turn into dogs of one of two things. Your market share keeps on going down or the business growth, there's no need for that product. So companies must carefully evaluate whether a question mark has a potential to increase its market share or if the resources are spent elsewhere. So if the question mark becomes dog, we're going to see what happens when you when the product is considered a dog. Now, a good example of this is Tesla's solar panels. Tesla solar panels are a question mark at this point. So the renewable energy market is expanding, but Tesla has yet to secure a dominant position versus Tesla cars. Tesla cars are stars. There's a high business growth rate for electric car and a high and Tesla controlled a relatively large market share. But when it comes to their solar panel, they are question mark. Whether it 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 can become a star depending on the strategic investment and in, in technology and market market penetration. So the business growth is there, but can we control a larger market shares? Now let's talk about the dogs. The dogs are, as we mentioned, low market share and low business growth rate. So there is no need for the product, there is no growth rate, and they control a low small market share. So product in this quadrant are poor investments, are generally poor investments, unless they serve some sort of a strategic purpose. Resources spent on these product on dogs are often better allocated elsewhere, either to the question mark, hopefully they will become stars, improved or improve the stars. So what you need to do with dogs, you need to sell or liquidate to use the resources somewhere else. A good example of stars is the BlackBerry smartphone. They became dogs as the smartphone, smartphone market matured and the company lost its competitive advantage. For this, the, the smart, basically the market did not really mature. There's still a market share, but they control really low low margin. But eventually also also the cell phone market also mature because everyone that needs to buy a smartphone already bought a smartphone. So with minimal market share and a low growth market, BlackBerry eventually exited the smartphone industry to focus on software and security. You just want to get out. Now let's take a look at one example that include many companies and specifically I will be using Microsoft as a real world example. So what are the stars, the question mark, the cash cows? and the dogs and for Microsoft. First, the stars. As we mentioned, just like in for Amazon, cloud computing. And you could be watching this recording a few years later and cloud computing could mature and it could become a cow. And who knows, maybe it doesn't become a cow. Maybe we have a new technology where there is a business rate is low and obviously, you know, you don't control a large market. But for now, business Microsoft Azure is a cloud service but it requires constant investment to maintain its leadership. So this is the star for Microsoft because Microsoft has many products. One of them is Azure. Cash cows, hopefully you know what the cash cows are for Microsoft. It's Microsoft Office. Most likely it's installed on your computer. It's a stable business software. The majority of people use Office and whoever wants to buy it already bought it. So there's no high growth rate, but Microsoft control a high market share. Therefore, they could to maintain this product with minimum investments, but there's a minimal growth need. So it provides them cash that they can invest elsewhere. Now, question marks could be LinkedIn. LinkedIn has the potential, but needs further growth investments to achieve dominance in the professional social networking space. I mean, if it's in the professional, it, it is in the, it's dominant in the professional, but in social space, it's not. There are other 
social media uh, websites if you think of other competitors although they're not professional but they're social media like Facebook Insta so on and so forth so LinkedIn is considered a star I would say it's they control a high market share if we go specifically into the professional but as an example we're, we're, we're gonna consider it a star I'm sorry a question mark and hopefully the question mark becomes a star otherwise if it doesn't become a star it goes into a dog Windows Phone was phased out due to the declining market and a stagnant market with Microsoft shifting resources toward other growth so what could be a dog for Microsoft Windows Phone it's like we don't need them they're gone um, I would say the tablet is also a question mark for uh, uh, the tablet could be a question mark a better example is the surface the tablet surface which is that's what I'm using right now as I'm writing this it's a question mark so this is an example for one particular company now what are the key strategies for using this BCG matrix the Boston consulting group first the stars focus on growth innovation and expansions we already know that what do you do with those you invest you invest to solidify your long-term profitability although you are a star you, you don't go to sleep you work harder to maintain that competitive position because what you want to do worst case situation worst case situation you want to go from star to a cash cow cash cows maximize profit while keeping investment low so you're making the money without additional investment so you have this steady cash flow to support stars and question marks uh, another good example that I that I just thought of as a question mark a big question mark right now is virtual reality virtual reality for for Facebook what Facebook is investing in is those virtual reality and augmented reality uh, they're part of a of a sub company a unit called reality labs uh, that's what they're trying to do but at this point it's a huge question mark why there is a high growth but the market share is still low they can not a lot of people are looking for that so who knows what's going to happen down the road but that's another example of a question mark and a question mark make a critical assessment of potential high growth potential produce need investment a uh, product need investment so here what happened actually as I'm doing this recording yesterday Microsoft report um, sorry Facebook reported they invested 4.4 billion in this augmented reality or virtual reality product and the revenue was around 300 million you guys read me right 300 million in revenue not profit and revenue and they invested 4.4 million this is a huge huge question mark for Facebook whether it's gonna turn into a star or go bust right dogs divest them if they no longer contribute meaningful to the portfolio if there's no reason to keep them like Windows phone Google plus for Google get rid of them they don't you know, you know they don't they don't do anything except they consume resources that that are better invested somewhere else let's take a look at the life cycle and understand the life cycle for these different quadrant will make more sense so the movement of a strategic business unit SBU through the matrix reflect its life cycle I kept calling calling it a product because it's easier for you to understand the product but they call it the technical term is the strategic business unit or SPU so, uh, so in case you saw it in a different course or in the question so you know what SPU is so where do we start we always start with a question mark that's where the company start so a, su a successful product unit typically progress from the question mark to a star eventually becoming cash flow this is what you want when does it go from start to a cash flow when the market mature that's it we can the, the gray throat basically slows down stays flat or start to go keep start to go down because eventually the growth will stop you want to keep your dominant position so you go from star to a cash cow the risk is not the risk what could happen is you can go from a star to dogs which th this could happen if the growth rate slows down and you lose your market share for one reason or another either competitive advantage or pricing or someone comes with a cheaper better product and there's no business growth so you just don't want to put up a fight so let's tie this to strategic planning understanding what a product 
in its life cycle have helped companies formulate long-term strategic planning that include investment decision where you invest you invest in stars and you invest in question marks why because the question mark hopefully they become stars and you invest in stars to make to maintain your competitive advantage when you when do you divest you divest when you're in the dogs quadrant you divest because you it's you are using resources could be better used somewhere else in the question mark you also want to develop new product and stars you want to develop new product in the cash cows what you do you hold you hold your market share you hold your market share the business growth rate is small that industry is no longer growing but your product control a large market share you want to maintain that position let's take a look at this multiple choice question from farhat lectures a, te a technology company has a product in the star quadrant and this is the star quadrant high growth rate high market share what is the primary objective of this product so when you're there what do you need to do do you need to increase market share through investments maximize immediate cash flow by cutting cost maintain a current market position with minimal investment divest the product to raise funds for other product i would say easy elimination is d you don't sell this product it's a star it's a high growth high market share so take out d we're left with abc maintain current market position with minimal investment do you really want to do that no what you do if you have if you're making minimal investments and it's a star the business growth rate is up you might have competition coming in to take your share because the business is still growing therefore you don't want to maintain your current position c is out you want to make more investments not minimal investments maximize immediate cash flow we all we all we all want to maximize immediate cash flow uh, but this is applies to harvesting when you want to kind of get the money as soon as possible this is not what you want to do in a star in a star you want to increase your market share by investing and eventually you will harvest later on slowly so the answer is a the answer is a what do you need to do now you need to go to farhat lectures whether you are studying for your cma or any other professional certification accounting courses finance courses farhat lectures is here to help invest in yourself